Hey guys, it's Chris. So today I'm actually going to be replacing the high pressure fuel relief valve. I think it's the HP RV on the uh, common rail on my uh, 06 Dodge Ram 3500 uh, with the five line Cummins. Um, I don't really have the stuff to do a proper diagnosis on the common rail um, high pressure relief valve. Uh, the main, the symptoms I've been having is an occasional delayed start, like a, the truck will have to crank over for you know, a couple of seconds longer than normal, even on a warm day, uh, just to fire off. And um, the weird thing is, too, uh, it, it, it's only ever happened if I'm driving my truck from Colorado Springs up to Denver. It hasn't done it if I'm going like Colorado Springs to Pueblo, or if I'm just driving it around town. Like, it was only up to Denver. Which is a weird thing, but it's like I'm on my way up and all the way back. I'll just be driving along. All of a sudden, the wake start light comes on. I did about 10 games. The first couple of times it's done, it, I won't have any codes, but the light won't go away. Uh, the last two times it's done, it, basically the last time I went up to Denver and back, which I don't do it very often, I had a, I believe it was a P1222. And all of my research says that for the light and the code, it just points to basically the computer seeing a higher fuel return rate than it's supposed to see, which means something's causing the fuel to be returned rather than used. And as a result, the fuel pressure drops off. Uh, and that could be anything from a bad fuel control actuator, which I've replaced that. Uh, the HPRV, which I'm fixing to replace. It could also be injectors or just a leak somewhere in the fuel system. Now, like I said, I have replaced the FCA. I gave that after the first occurrence, and no issues outside the longer than usual cranking um, until this last time I went up to Denver, and then the light came on again. So this last time, basically, just to kind of take a look, I uh, basically took the, and I'll show this to you when I get out to the truck, I took the banjo bolt off of the top of the rail, noticed off of the top of the relief valve, and I saw fuel cranked it over and had a partner watch the, uh, the, basically the relief valve. And while it wasn't spraying, there was basically a steady stream coming up and out of the top of the valve, which uh, tells me to believe that the spring's tired or worn out and it's basically releasing fuel through the relief valve. That valve is only supposed to open if the, if the pressure in the system hits, goes up above like I think it's 23,000 PSI. And if it's releasing earlier than that and sending fuel back to the tank, then it's not allowing the fuel system to build up pressure. So, I mean, for, you know, it, I'm, I'm thinking it's just a tired spring because for the most part, especially once it's running, the truck runs fine. Um, so that's just a kind of a brief, you know, what I've seen and my conclusions and why I'm going ahead to replace the HPRV. So we will go out to the truck and uh, show you guys that process. All right, so I'm outside of the truck. First thing you want to do for this procedure is to go ahead and depressurize the fuel system. My preferred method is always going to just disable the uh, uh, fuel pump or lift pump in this case. And to do that, um, just probably just going to go ahead and pull the fuses. I believe uh, V6, which is that 10 amp down there in the corner, and 42, which is this pink uh, 30 amp over here, uh, disables the uh, fuel system on my particular truck. So I'll disable it, uh, crank the engine over, let it run until it dies out, and that way I'll know that I've got a depressurized fuel system. Okay guys, I hope you can hear me over the wing, but uh, your fuel pressure relief valve, for those of you that don't know, sits right behind your air intake horn. It's right there. Your first step is to remove that manual mode. It looks like it's going to be a 19 millimeter wrench to take it off. Be careful because there are a couple of washers Manchel bolt off, you can probably slide the fuel hose out of the way, just keep it on those washers. The uh, pressure relief valve is held in the basically to a millimeter wrench to get that out. Enhance, enhance, enhance. Sorry guys, I had to steal that one from South Main Auto. He's uh, somebody to enjoy watching, but there is the new uh, fuel pressure relief valve installed. Um, wasn't too bad of a job, honestly. Uh, the old one was kind of a butter getting out. I'm pretty sure it was the original uh, pressure relief valve, so 
it's kind of a bear, but you know, if you got moderate to good arm strength, you can get it off there. Just like to say, cleanliness is pretty important with these. Uh, just make sure everything's clean. Make sure you replace both the washers there. You got a upper and the lower on that uh, bags or bolt fitting. Um, it might help if you undo the uh, bolt over there that takes off the uh, dipstick off the uh, air intake horn. I don't know which size that bolt is. I just use one of my small adjustable wrenches. But uh, yeah, so uh, we'll go ahead and hop back in the truck here and uh, I'm just gonna. Uh, the system is self priming, but usually I like to cycle the fuel pump a few times just to rebuild some fuel pressure and uh, crank the engine over and make sure there's no leaks. It's crazy to think how many miles are on this truck. It really is, but still pretty reliable overall in my book. So, uh, anyway, guys, what I do is uh, to basically help reprime the system is I'll cycle the uh, key on and off a couple of times. I don't know if in these trucks it will cycle the fuel pump every time, but I'm just under the assumption it does, because I've never really heard this fuel pump whine or anything that really helped tell me. But uh, after this third prime we'll get it started and uh, make sure we don't have any leaks. Good. Well, there you have it. How to replace the uh, high pressure relief valve on the uh, common rail on the uh, 5 9 Cummings. My truck is in 06. I'm not sure if the uh, if the early 6.7s are the same setup. I believe they are, with maybe a couple of minor differences. But uh, at, at least on the uh, 03 through 06, uh, early 07 5.9s, that's where the relief valve is and what it does. and kind of the symptoms. Now I'll have to watch the truck for a little bit, you know, make sure I don't get that way to start light, but that'll probably take another trip to Denver for me to really know for sure. And, uh, the, you know, the occasional delay starting, uh, that could be it too. I'm kind of wondering if it might be my lift pump though, but, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys are having a great day, week, weeknight, whatever time it is, wherever you may happen to be, and I will catch you in the next video. Take care.